Six degrees of separation is the idea that everyone is six or fewer steps away by way of introduction from another person in the world that they may not know at the moment. A chain of a friend of a friend statements can be made to connect any two people in a maximum of six steps. A degree of separation is a measure of social distance between people. You are one degree away from everyone you know, two degrees away from everyone they know, and so on. I did a study of a couple friends of mine. Most of them had around 500 friends through websites like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, but only knew roughly a third of them personally. Quote, no longer limited strictly to academic or philosophical thinking, the notion of six degrees recently has become influential throughout popular culture. Further advances in communication technology, and particularly the internet, have drawn great attention to social networks and human interconnectedness. As a result, many popular media sources have addressed the term, end quote. Networking websites have made this theory that more evident by looking at mutual friends lists. Talk to friends about their friends and mutual friends. Social networking has now connected people across the world that could not be connected before. Because of this social networking, all human beings are now that much closer and connected. Through a series of interviews, I was interested in seeing if I could link one person to James McGraw, who's a professional BMX rider, infamous amongst Colorado Springs. Dominique Harper, do you know who James McGraw is? No. All right, well, we're going to show you and prove to you that you, in fact, actually do know James McGraw. Well, I'm here at Alpha Connect to meet my friend Emily. Hi, Emily. Nice to meet you. Hi. So, how did you and Dominique meet? We met through mutual friends in high school. Yeah, and then we became really tight when we went to church camp together. Okay. All right, Emily, who is someone that you know that Dominique does not? You, actually, Karina, because... I met you through social networking. Um, we were friends on Facebook, and I put up a status saying that I needed a roommate, and you actually commented and ended up moving on. Karina, you know Emily Young, correct? Yes, I do. Who might someone be that Dominique nor Emily know? Um, I know this guy, Sean. He's actually a friend of mine whom I met through an ex-boyfriend. They used to be roommates together, and that's how I met him. Hi, Sean. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So, you know Karina. Who might someone be that she's never met before? Um, Emma Lapazzi. That is my girlfriend. I met her about a year ago at a party. Hi, Emma. Nice to meet you. Hi, Karina. Nice to meet you, too. So, do you happen to know who James McGraw is? Yeah, actually, he's my stepdad. I met him when him and my mom first started dating, and they fell in love, and the rest is history. Hi, James. Nice to meet you. I'm Karina. Hi, nice to meet you. Alright, James, do you happen to know a Dominique Harper? No, I do not. Through a chain of people, you two were only a couple of introductions away from knowing each other. Could it be possible that this once urban myth could lead us to understand and potentially prevent terrorism, pandemics, and disease? Scientists have found that there could be ways to track and predict the route a disease could take and who it could infect with the simple knowledge of six degrees. Network theory is what we're looking at, and it covers many subjects, including how people interact socially, how diseases spread, how people find jobs, and even how aspects of the World Wide Web operate. In six links or fewer, you and I both are linked to Madonna, Brad Pitt, the Dalai Lama, and the Queen.